Hi guys, I am Sneha and you are watching my channel Book Junction. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to create a vintage themed art journal spread. I received a couple of comments under my haul videos where you guys wanted me to use all my new stationery to create something. So I hope you will enjoy this video. So first I have picked two colors that will go with our vintage theme wonderfully. I think a muted shade of yellow and brown looks really vintage and classic. So I am going to paint both the pages with these two colors. The links of all the stationery that I will be using in this video will be in the description box. So if you want to make any purchase you can click on the links and purchase them. Now I will start layering. So I painted these two paper strips with both the shades to create a basic palette for the spread. Next I am using a sketch pen like this to give this piece of paper a burnt effect. This way you don't have to actually burn the paper and it also doesn't alter the shape of your paper cutting. Burnt paper gives me a really vintage warm vibe so that's why I went ahead with this idea and layered it on this page. Next, I am adding a sticker with the picture of a vinyl as it brings the memories of the old times and I'll give it some structure with a very thin washi tape from the same color family. writing the name of the novel The Beautiful and the Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald. It's one of my most favorite classics of all times. I love this one even more than The Great Gatsby which as you guys know is called The Great American Novel. But for me The Beautiful and the Damned is Fitzgerald's best work. It's still so relevant and has a very beautiful contemporary feel to it which makes it even more accessible for everyone. Moving on, finally I am going to use these vintage stickers to make a vintage art journal spread. Next, I am adding this vintage Paris themed craft paper cutout on the left hand side page. I am sticking this translucent film paper with floral design on top of it that goes with the color scheme of the spread beautifully. Then I picked this bird cage sticker and followed with the brown palette strip. The clock sticker along with the cage one signifies that we are still trying so hard to keep the vintage aesthetic alive with us even when the time has passed. We are still trying to keep a slice of that gorgeous period of beautiful gramophones and social media free life with us. I loved this quote from the Little Prince themed washi tape and I thought it went beautifully with this spread as well. Next, I am stamping the word vintage with my alphabet stamps. Mm -hmm. 
this is a new addition in my art journal stationery collection it's a small booklet of aesthetic double-sided cardstock paper for scrapbook decoration there are a total of 366 sheets in this one Then I wrote a quote from the book The Beautiful and the Damned and cut them into individual pieces to stick them on the top with double sided tape so it pops up. And our vintage themed art journal spread is complete. I used most of my new stationery in creating this one as you guys wanted. I'm sure it helped you to understand how to use these different stationery items. I'm myself pretty new in using these so sincere apologies if you think I missed out on something. Let me know if you like this journal spread in the comment section. I really hope that you all enjoyed watching this video and found it valuable. If you did then definitely like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for future notifications and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.